The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, Camtel, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. I'm your geography teacher, Changwi Pipitwa. We're going to have a geography lesson for Form 5. In the last lesson, we had assignment. Let us correct the assignment before we move on to the lesson of the day. The assignment is, what do you understand by containerization in transport? What do you understand by containerization in transport? State two advantages of containerization. Containerization is a system of intermodal freight transport using containers made of weathered steel. That is, a metal box about 2.5 meters tall and about 5 meters long made of steel where goods are packed inside and shipped to different parts of the world. That is, they are shipping containers of standardized dimensions, as I mentioned earlier dimension of 2.5 meters tall and about 5 meters long. The advantages include the fact that when goods are stopped in the containers or sealed, it minimizes theft and breakage. That is the, the ability to destroy or the destruction of goods is minimized. It also facilitates loading and offloading. It can be transferred from one mode of transport to the other. That explains why we term it intermodal transport. You have seen it, you have experienced it around your areas where these metal boxes come around on trailers and goods are removed from it, especially from abroad. So, containerization is a form of transport where goods are transported in containers, metal boxes. Our lesson 13 is titled Specialized Forms of Transport. Specialized forms of transport. In this lesson, we are going to have an overview wherein we have learning objectives, previous knowledge, real life situation, learning activities, exercises, and assignment. By the end of this lesson, the learners should describe the characteristics of motorways and cableways. State the advantages and their disadvantages. Identify impact 
on the economy. So at the end of the lesson, you should do this. Describe the characteristics, state the advantages and the disadvantages, and identify the impact of motorways and cableways in the economy. In the last lesson, we treated air and water transport. Air transport, movement of goods, people, using aircraft, aeroplane, helicopters, chairlift, water transport, transport, transportation of goods, using waterways, the ship, the boat, you can name them. Let us refresh our memories with these questions. State two impact of air and water transport. State two impact of air and water transport. They both provide employment opportunities. Be it air, the pilots, the hostesses, the ship, we have the ship conductors, it provide employment to so many people in that sector. It also increases government revenue through taxes at ports. Before we get into the lesson, let us describe this situation in real life. The entrance to a city is highly congested in the evenings as many people are trying to move in and out of the town. This often slows down movement. I take the situation again. The entrance to a city is highly congested in the evenings and many people are trying to move in and out of the town. This often slows down movement. Is there a problem in this situation? If there is a problem, what is the problem? How can this problem be solved? There is congestion, slowing down movement. So I identify the problem and propose solutions to those problems. Let us follow the lesson to the end. And at the end of it, we would have answers to these questions. Motorways, carways. A motorway is a type of highway that has been designed for high speed vehicular traffic flow. A highway that is designed for fast moving vehicles. It is a major road that has, has been built especially for fast travel over long distances. Fast travel over long distances. For instance, traveling from Yaoundé to Douala and you want to arrive Douala as fast as possible. If we have motorways, we take that lane and we move faster because it is a road that is designed for fast moving vehicles. Motorways are or have fast moving traffic. They are usually separated by carriageways for vehicles traveling in opposite directions. It has multiple lanes between four to six in some countries, especially in the advanced industrialized countries. You see motorways with more than six lanes on one side and six on the other side. It is built to facilitate movement of traffic at high speed. Now let us observe this image. See? This is a motorway. Look at the cars 
they move as fast as possible. Then the limbs. Let us count together. One, two, three, four. On one side. And then there is a division. On this other side, we also have one, two, three, four limbs. The cars are moving in opposite directions. Those that are coming in and those that are going out from our from the position where we are. So this is an example of a motor wheel. As I said before, in some areas the lanes are many. It is meant to reduce traffic flow. The cars move as fast as possible. So the rate at which the cars are slowed has been improved upon. What are the advantages of motorways? Some of the advantages of motorway is that it increases travel time. The time you take to travel from one part of the town to the other or from one region to the other is reduced. There is less congestion. Traffic congestion is reduced. Stress is reduced. Congestion. When there is congestion, cars move at a slow pace. And that takes time off. It also prevents traffic flow breakdown. Then, the ability to collect real-time traffic information. These are some of the advantages. Congestion is reduced. Time is gained. Traffic breakdowns are reduced. The disadvantages of motorways. There's high risk of collision. If you can recall the, the image that we saw a while ago, you realize that so many cars are moving towards one direction, each on their lane, but the speed at which they move is high, so much so that there is a risk of what? Collision. Colliding, the cars may collide, and you know what that means. When it collides, it may lead to accidents because the cars are close to each other. And when there is an accident, it will reduce the speed or it will affect traffic and the speed will be brought down or is reduced. So to say that a major disadvantage of motorways is that there's high risk of pollution as drivers drive closer to each other. Cable wheels. What are cable wheels? Cables, just like the cables we connect maybe on an electricity pole or from one part, from one pole to the other. These ones are metal cables that have been fastened on poles from one point to the other. And a cabin or a cable car attached onto the cable for goods and passengers to move on. Cable wheels. Cables fastened on poles from one point to the other and, car car and cable cars to transport passengers and goods. It is a transport system common in difficult areas, in areas that have deep valleys, wide rivers where roads cannot be constructed. So these cables are used, connecting one point to the other, and cabins are attached to it for it to transport goods and people. As I said on, cabins are used where loads and passengers are suspended overhead on cables and cabins 
from one station to another. Ropeways can transport for up to 100 kilometers. So to say that it can transport goods and people for a distance of about 100 kilometers. And they can also carry goods worth 500 tons of cargo. Let us see what a cable wheel looks like. These are examples of cable wheels. It's a common means of transport in advanced industrialized countries and in areas that have difficult terrain. Switzerland, for example, has this form of transport where look at the poles and then the ropes or the cables fastened on this pole. Then the cabin attached to it. See, it's the same thing up here. And it is moving over homes or over the land to another area. It is a good means of transport by tourists. Tourists use this form of transport to move from one mountain top to the other for tourist reasons. The advantages of cable wheels. What are the advantages? There is no congestion. Just as you've seen on the image, there are no two, uh, there's no way two cabins can be coming from different directions on one cable line. They have, each cabin has its line. So there is nothing like congestion. It is fast and efficient because it makes use of electricity. It is controlled by electricity. It costs very little or no pollution. And it's a means of transport in mountain areas. Remember I said in Switzerland, it's a common means of transport where tourists are transported from one mountain top to the other. And it makes life easy. Disadvantages of cable wheels. Passengers may get stranded. In case there is power failure, the passengers will be stranded in the cabin. There will be no way to move ahead or behind. This is because this form of transport makes use of electricity. It is electrically controlled. So when there's power failure, the passengers are stranded. It's also very expensive to construct. Accidents are usually very fatal. Imagine the rope or the cable gets cut. The speed at which the cabin will fall to the ground will be horrible. So to say that anybody who is in that cabin faced with the situation where the cable gets cut is dead. That explains why we say accidents are usually very fatal. You will hardly see survivors when an accident occurs. What are the impacts of motorways and cable ways on the economy? How has it benefited the economies in which motorways and cable ways are developed? It is a means of transportation, and transportation facilitates the distribution of goods from industries to the markets. It also facilitates the movement of raw materials to the industries. It provides employment to so many people who are directly or indirectly involved in this mode of transport. It is also a way of development, infrastructural development. Roads have been constructed. That with roads, development will flourish. So, 
There are a number of positive impact of motorways and cableways onto the economy. It is also a source of income to the state. Cableways encourage tourist activities, especially in difficult areas. And you know, when tourists get into a country or an area, they come in with money, which goes a long way to also increase the state's revenue. Cableways are free from congestion, and it does not have any effect onto the environment, no form of pollution. Let us round up our lesson with these exercises. But before we get to these exercises, let us reflect on the situation that was described at the beginning of the lesson. There is congestion at the entrance to a city. And this makes movement to slow down. Identify the problem. What is the problem? We have listened to the lesson and the problem has been brought up. Identify that problem. The problem is congestion, traffic congestion. There is traffic congestion at the entrance. What should be done to reduce or to curb traffic congestion at the entrance to your city, especially in the evenings? You should construct motorways. Enlarge the roads. Let there be so many lanes on one side and on the other side. Six lanes. It will reduce the rate at which cars slow down at the entrance. There are other ways through which you can control traffic congestion. They should straighten the roads. The bends should be made straight. Potholes should be filled because those are some of the things that slow down movements on the road. Traffic lights should be put in place so as to control the rate at which cars move. They should, they should also put traffic police. If you move around the town of Yaoundé in Cameroon, you realize that there are traffic police on each roundabout or on along each stretch, they are there to control traffic and to reduce congestion. So in that way, we are solving the problem of traffic congestion. Now let us answer this question. Describe a motorway or briefly describe motorways. Motorways, it is a road with fast moving traffic having limited access with a total of four to six lanes. A road with fast moving traffic with four to six lanes. State some advantages of motorways. State some advantages of motorways. It increases or it increases travel time reliability. When you use motorways, you gain time. There's also little or no congestion. And then stress is reduced. Imagine you driving on a on a steep slope and there is traffic. A lot of stress is involved. But with motorways and so many lanes, there will be less stress and less congestion. Identify two advantages of cableways. Identify two advantages of cableways.
identify two disadvantages of cable reads. Take the question again. Identify two disadvantages of cable reads. It is expensive to construct. It's not found everywhere, even though the terrain is difficult that can enable the construction of cable waves. But because it is expensive to construct, so many difficult areas go without and without roads. Accidents are very fatal, especially when the cables get curved. So, it's difficult to construct or expensive to construct, and accidents are usually deadly. State two impacts of cableways on, and motorways to the economy. State two impacts of cableways and motorways to the economy. It facilitates distribution of goods from industries to markets and raw materials from raw material sites to industries. It also provides employment opportunities. The next question, what are the disadvantages of cable waves? Passengers may get stranded in case of power failure. Accidents are usually fatal in case of cable breakage. They are limited to areas of difficult terrain with deep valleys. Assignment. What are pipelines? What are pipelines? For more information, you can contact the reference documents on your screen. We've come to the end of the lesson. See you in the next lesson, in which we are going to treat Pipelines. <laughs> Tam tam a tonge, tam zabike, tam 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 a mote, tam zabike, mane tam bia ninyane, injo bia yen.